Trump compared me to Ivanka after we had generic one position on safe sex just after Melania gave birth, then phoned me every 10 days. Porn star revealed, after passing 2011 polygraph. Porn stars for me Daniels took and passed a polygraph test in 2011 as she talked about her textbook generic sexual relations with a married Donald Trump more than a decade ago, in Touch Weekly claims. We had really good banter. He told me once that I want someone to be reckoned with, beautiful and smart just like his daughter, Daniels, whose real name is Stephanie Clifford, told the tabloid in a story that In Touch released this week, on the heels of other news reports about the president and the porn star. Her alleged affair with the future president began at the American Century Celebrity Golf Tournament at the Edgewood Tahoe Golf Course in Statline, Nevada, in July 2006 several months after Trump's youngest son Barrett Trump was born to his wife Melania. The now 39-year-old adult actress described their initial sexual encounter with the billionaire businessman as nothing crazy and admitted to the tabloid the two didn't use protection. It was one position, what you would expect someone his age to do, Daniel said. I actually don't even know why I did it, but I do remember while we were having sex, I was like, please, don't try to pay me. And then I remember thinking, but I bet if he did, it would be a lot, Daniel said. She told the magazine that she was worried that Trump had confused her for a hooker, instead he seemed smitten she recalled and would call her every 10 days. Whether you're a fan of his or not, which I never really was, you gotta admit he's pretty fascinating, she also said. Daniels told In Touch that Trump was introduced to everybody at the golf tournament but kept looking at me and then we ended up riding to another hole on the same golf cart together. The billionaire businessman, and future political candidate, later came to the booth sponsored by the adult film company Wicked Daniels did work for and they exchanged telephone numbers and posed for a picture. Then he asked me if I wanted to have dinner that night. And I was like, yeah, of course. Daniel said to the magazine. Who would pass up an opportunity to talk to someone so interesting? I wasn't trying to date him or anything like that. Daniels told in touch that she went to Trump's hotel room and was greeted by a bodyguard named Keith, the president's longtime hire Keith Schiller, who left the White House in September, and found the future president wearing pajama pants and sprawled out on the couch watching TV. She poked fun at his get-up, suggesting he was trying to dress like Playboy boss Hugh Hefner. I was actually really mean to him. He got all huffy and and tried to play it off and was like, Oh, I just thought we would relax here, Daniel said. We ended up having diner in the room. This account slightly differs from how Daniel's friend, adult film star Lana Evans, described the evening during an interview Tuesday with NBC's Medine Carey. Evans said Daniel's ate dinner with her before heading to Trump's room for a private party. And that's when Stormy started calling me. Evans said, explaining that Trump eventually got on the phone and asked her to join in. Come hang out with us. Come have fun. Let's party, Evans recalled the mogul saying. She eventually turned off her phone to decline, but asked Daniel about the encounter the next day. She says, well, picture this, Donald Trump chasing me around the bedroom in his tighty whities Evans recalled. To in touch, Daniel said. She excused herself to go to the bathroom. When I came out, he was sitting on the bed and he was like, come here. And I was like, Doug, here we go. And we started kissing. We hung out for a little while and he kept saying, I'm gonna call you, I'm gonna call you. I have to see you again. You're amazing. We have to get you on The Apprentice, she recalled to in touch. Daniels also described some of the promises that Trump made to her to Slate's Jacob Weisberg who had talked to the porn star in the run-up to the 2016 election, but was concerned his story wouldn't pass muster once Daniel stopped answering the journalist calls. On Tuesday, Weisberg recounted being told by Daniels that she had had a sexual relationship with Trump in 2006 and 2007, which started in a hotel room in Nevada. To Weisberg, Daniels also described the sex as dull and said that Trump had made her a lot of promises. Porn star Randy Spears corroborated Daniel's story when he talked to In Touch in 2011, saying Daniels described it as pretty boring, while her ex-husband Mike Mo told the magazine that he remembered Daniels and Trump talking on the phone frequently after meeting on the golf course. She didn't allege any kind of abuse, insisting she was not the victim, Weisberg wrote for Slate.
The worst Trump had done, she said, was break promises she'd never believed he would fulfill. She claimed he'd offered to buy her a condo in Tampa, Florida, and that he'd said he wanted to feature her as a contestant in an upcoming season of Celebrity Apprentice, he added. Weisberg noted that Daniel said the affair continued for about a year, which Daniels also told in touch, noting she had met Trump in other cities, including Los Angeles. However, the most damning thing Weisberg found out from Daniels about Trump, a thrice-married ladies man who's been accused of sexual harassment and assault, was that he had offered, through intermediaries, to pay her off. That's the story that jump-started the Daniels Trump affair whispers again with the Wall Street Journal reporting that Trump's lawyer Michael Cohen had paid Daniels $130,000 in hush money directly before the 2016 vote. Cohen has denied that Daniels and Trump had a sexual encounter, but has not specifically denied giving the porn star payment. Daniels hasn't said anything publicly except to deny the relationship. However, editors of In Touch said she talked to them in 2011 after becoming angry at comments Trump made disparaging another woman. Karma will always bite you in the a asterisk asterisk, Daniels told in touch at the time.